Yo, did we just pull this one back? Epic comeback alert. I just can't actually believe that we have not featured a deck that included Opal on this channel yet. So here's the opportunity. Let's take a look at Opal with Colossal and Sandaconda. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we have a stage two deck featuring the all powerful, almighty, and very shiny Colossal. But first, if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, please make sure to go down below to that description area. Click that big red shiny subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. And if you want to see this channel grow, that's one of the easiest ways to do it. You might also want to leave a like. You might want to even click that little bell notification icon so that you can get notified of when I post in the future. Helps me out a lot. Appreciate it, guys. All right. So this is Colossal. With the Tar Generator ability, once during your turn, you may attach a Fire Energy card and a Fighting Energy card, or one of each from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So you can accelerate up to two energy as long as one of them is Fire and one of them is Fighting. Now, the best attacker to utilize this ability is Sandaconda. Frankly, it hits the hardest, and it has a pretty nice standalone attack as well, Sand Eater, for one Fighting Energy can attach a Fighting Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, but the Sand Breath attack is where it's at. So Sand Breath, discard two energy from this Pokemon, does 220 damage. So that's enough to knock out VMAXs, you know, things like uh, Eternatus. That's enough to knock out anything that's weak to fighting, like Picaroms or the uh, ever-present Raichu and Alolan Raichu. So Sandaconda, really, really nice card, and the brown typing isn't bad either. We have another attacker in the deck in the form of Cramorant with the Spit Shot and Beak Catch attack. Spit Shot's going to allow us to snipe things on the bench. And honestly, anytime that you can reuse Cramorant over and over, Cramorant's amazing in Welder decks, but it's also really cool here because, again, you can just Tar Generator, discard the energy, Tar Generator again, next turn, discard all the energy. Like, it's very, very reusable. So Cramorant fits right in to this deck. We also have a Ninetales V, with the Nine-Tailed Shapeshifter attack, choose one of your opponent's active attacks and use it as this attack. So if your opponent has something that's very hard hitting, you can go in with the Nine-Tails and just copy that attack. It also has a Flamethrower attack, but generally speaking, the three energy attacks are a little bit easier to power up with the Tar Generator ability as you only need one ability to make it all work in a turn. We have... To facilitate the stage two, right? Normally stage twos are very, very difficult to get out, but that is where Opal comes in. So Opal here, flip two coins, search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of heads and put those cards into your hand. So Opal is amazing for finding the rare candy, for finding the colossal that we just don't have, whatever piece of that puzzle that we just don't have in hand, Opal is amazing to do that. Now the problem is that you can flip two tails right? That's just uh, facts of life, right? You can just get double tails and it's like you didn't even play a supporter at all. But I think the reward is worth the risk as getting one or that amazing two head flips on Opal can really swing the game in your favor. Coming down, we also have some boss's orders, some professor's research. We got a Mew to prevent getting sniped by a Tag Bolt or opposing Cramorant. And we've also included some Cape of Toughness to give our Sandacondas a little bit more health and a little bit more longevity. So that is the deck list, you guys. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Opal right now in the standard format. I'm curious to hear because I think Opal is like highly underutilized. The fact that it can get any card as opposed to just a trainer or just a Pokemon, um, I feel like could be used in more decks, but we just haven't seen it. Uh, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. So let me know down below. And after you see these games, I think you'll enjoy and you'll appreciate just how fun Opal can be. So let's get happy Players Cup 3, y'all. If you are playing in the Players' Cup 3, uh, let me know how you do. Drop it down in the comments below if you've already started. I want to hear how it's going to go for you, how it goes, um, what strategies you're trying, what decks you're going to play. All those things are things that I am interested in. So, hmm. I think we got to start Cram here. Certainly would love to get a Colossal down. I think if we get a, uh, or excuse me, a Carcoal down, I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, okay, there's that, and we'll pass. We got the fire energy. We can load up the Cramorant. Um, we should take a pretty good matchup to Eternatus, but, like, when you have this start, 
uh, yeah, things are going to get a little bit tough. So we'll see what we can do. we just got to kind of hope that they whiff. Maybe hope we get a couple heads on the Opal. So Opal's really cool here. We can go ahead and flip two coins, search deck for a number of cards up to the number of heads. So we need one and then we could like beat catch, right? Assuming we don't top tech a car cool, we could beat catch for some more things. Um, but the problem is if they get the Cramorant knockout or actually if they get the, uh, the little guy knockout, the car cool, then we're kind of screwed. Just saying. Kind of a little bit. Screw, but that's okay. That's okay. I believe. I believe in us, and I believe in the power of love. And I believe that my opponent didn't play a supporter. So, uh, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's Opal. We'll get two heads here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> it really couldn't have been worse. It really couldn't have been worse. Um... What would you do in this switch? <laughs> what would you do here? Huh? I mean, I guess you crowbat, right? Like, oh, baby, what is this? All right, we got to go beat catch, but like, man, it's getting saucy. Uh, we'll do that. And we, we got the opals, man. Opals on deck, boy. Uh, I actually, you know what? We're going to take a quick ball in case they Marnie us. And we'll take like a colossal that we could maybe use in future turns. I don't know, dude. I was thinking like hail Mary play here for the Crobat. That seemed like the correct play to me at the time. And like, now I kind of look back and I'm like, that's a little bit sketchy for sure. Um, but yeah, if they get an Eternatus and they knock us out, we lose. That's the long and short of it. And uh, this video, you know, you'll probably click off this video, but I encourage you not to because I know that the next game we're going to dominate. I just guarantee 100%. Cree wall guarantee. Uh, this was the layup matchup that we definitely wanted for our deck, but uh, unfortunately, we're just having a little bit of a little wee, a wee bit of trouble. We could still technically win. It would involve them missing an energy attachment uh, on the next turn. Like, it's, it's, like, the more cards that they played, the less likely it becomes, but it is theoretically possible that they miss an attachment next turn. If they miss an attachment next turn, boy howdy, we are off to the races. But if they do not, then we're just not going to be able to catch up. Yeah, we needed the evolution into the into the coal here. Uh, obviously, the double opal flip um, really screwed us. So, opal, if you could, you know, if you could not. Um, let's go ahead and opal again. Double heads, please. All right. I'll take one. We got to go with the candy. Also hilarious to note. I, I do just want to say also that we only have one rare candy in the entire deck. We have three rare candy prize. So this was doomed from the start. I'm just going to say that much. Let's get a roly coly. I said car coal. It's a roly coly, of course. Um, We'll go. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's say they knock out our active, but they don't get an attachment on the Eternatus. What would be optimal? It would kind of be, it would be to discard the switch, right? Because we need, we need another roly. And we want to be able to attach the energy. I guess we would attach it here. And then we'll sand eater. She's a sand eater. Certainly not your best look, Sandaconda. Certainly not your best look, but that's okay. We keep a positive head on this channel. We can always hope that they whiff the energy. We can always hope that they disconnect. 
I feel like we are in a... Oh, they marnied us. We have one rare candy in the deck, dude. There's no way, bro. Uh, we got to get... Ah, oh, gee. We got to, like, we got to shuffle the deck is the thing. We got to shuffle the deck. Oh, and they get a Crobat, too. All right. They definitely have an energy attachment this turn. There's, like, no way they don't, right? No, oh, I only drew three. Okay, there's that. There's that energy. Dang, you hate to see it. All right. Well, things just aren't going to go our way, that's for sure. Uh, but we'll play it out. You never know. Never know what can happen. Maybe they'll gust up something that... But, yeah, man, three rare candy in the prizes. Dude, come on. Tell me one person who's had a worse day than that. Name one. I bet you can't. I bet you cannot find a single person who has had a worse day than me and Sandaconda. The funny thing is, like, the optimal play here is to go for the, the Dene because we need, we need to shuffle the deck and then research. <laughs> So let's move the goalposts. Yeah, we needed to shuffle the deck so that we could try to get into uh try to get into a rare candy, but that's just not gonna happen. So we lose the game for sure. All right, GG to my opponent. Well played, well played, well played. Moving on to the second game. What can I talk about? Let's see. Life is dominated by school for me right now, which um you know is is good, I guess. My brain, I can feel it extending and expanding, which is nice. Sometimes I wish it would extend and expand faster so that I wouldn't have to spend every waking moment um, on homework, but that's okay. Yo, dude, dude, we're going to get... All right, we got we to gotta go big here. We got to go forest... I think I'll use it, right? I think I'll use it first to try to get something into the into the discard. Let's go there. Should we crowbat? I'm gonna crowbat because we kind of really need. Oh no, that's so sad. Um, I think we gotta chill. But if they flip heads, dude, we're done. I think we got to chill. I don't think we can discard that stuff. This is like too juicy of a hand. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness. It's, I'm actually like, I feel blessed that it's not a, <laughs> that it's not a Dragapult deck. How funny is that? Um, and we are going to discard everything. Cool. And let's go great ball first. We're looking for a Sandy. One sandal condo, please. Uh, yeah, and let's take this thing out, dude. Tar generator. Boom, boom. We will discard this guy. And I think I'll just attach to the active, right? Because then, then we like technically don't even need the colossal anymore. Uh, and then we boss. Oh, but this has uh resistance, don't it? That's okay. That's okay. It's better to get the first hit in. It's like way better to get the first hit in. Yeah, yeah, way better. I, I completely, I completely forgot about the resistance, but, but at least at this point we can two shot the Dragapult VMAX. Um, I suppose that they can come in with like double Clefairy, remove all of our energy, play like a chaotic swell and I, maybe Marnie us or something like, so that we don't have an energy to attach and we miss all our energy attachments on the active or something like that could be a thing, I guess. But step one, <laughs> step one, remove our hand. Step two. Okay. We draw into an energy. We're chilling. We're chilling. I am a little concerned that we are probably going to pitch this colossal, but, um, your efforts were not in vain, buddy. You're looking uh, looking like a snack here. All right. So they are going to bite because they obviously attach to the bench. Um, we have way too many energy. I would prefer it if you didn't. Could, like, could you not? 
Could could you not? There we go. Couple energy there. Um, is it wise at this point to shuffle in both? The, I think we should. Let's go ahead and do. Um, let's do both because we're gonna discard a couple of. So I want to get back the Dedenne in case we need one, and the shiny Cole because I just think he's really cute. And then, ooh, okay. Yeah, so we f did the fire back here. So we're only going to be able to... That's fine. I think just one is going to get us through. All right. And then we'll go Sandy Breath. Because we can always dig out the fire from the Viridian Forest. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine there. Okay, cool. We could have actually done that this turn. But that I think we're going to be fine. I doubt we're going to get punished for a play like that. I doubt we're going to get punished for a play like that. Well, we could have searched out the fire, I think, with the Viridian and then discarded it with the Quick Ball, but I'm not too I'm not too upset there. So they're going to go Dragapult. I like this play. Um, it gives them an opportunity to potentially go for a third Dragapult uh, while still taking a knockout on the Santa Conda. So really smart play from my opponent because they're just going to use Jet Assault, I think. And the Quick Ball should... I was going to say they should get another Dragapult, but I guess they don't need a Dragapult until next turn. Um, we'll see here. We'll see what they get. There's the U-turn board. We could... There's no way for us to one-shot this at all. They're going to go in with the Clefable, make it just that much harder for us to draw into something we like. Oh, there's the reset stamp. Okay, I understand now. Give me an Opal. An Opal, give me two heads, please. Give me two heads, baby. I know you want... I know you want it. I know you want to give me two heads to make up for that pitiful last game where you gave us two tails. I hate it. We have four uh, fighting in the discard. Yo, what this man about to do? He has to get another Dragapult, I think. I guess he could go scoop up net. That would be the other thing. Huh. It's going to go Jirachi. I'm very skeptical of this play because it leaves his bench completely full. I don't think that there's going to be a way for him this turn to get down another Dragapult. I guess he doesn't really matter. This Dedenne is huge, though. It means we only have to go through one Dragapult. Um, yeah, okay. So there's that scoop up net. I wonder what he was looking for. I mean, maybe just a quick ball. I don't, I don't know. There's the Jirachi. He, he must be looking for something. I think he's going to... No, he's already retreated. He's going to switch again. What's this man looking for? It's got to be the second card. Whatever he's looking for, it's got to be the second card. I don't think he found it. Yeah, there's a Jet Assault. It's going to take a knockout. I don't think he got whatever he was looking for. So, huge top deck incoming. Definitely do need... Ah, uh, the Cram is pretty good, man. Cram is really nice because we could snipe. We could knock the active for 160. I guess we could do that with the Sandy. So, okay, let's. The problem, actually, no, no, no. The problem with hitting him with the Sandy is that we don't have a fire energy in the discard. Um, and we need, we have a fire energy attached, but we need, yeah, obviously we need both. So let's go. Oppa! Yeah, double heads, babe. Okay. You could tell he wanted to give it to us. You could tell. You could tell for sure. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's make use of Viridian Forest while we got it. Oh, I meant to... No, I meant to do it the other way. I meant to discard the fire. You idiot. You idiot. That's okay. That's okay. Positive self-talk. I, you know, I got to remember that. Positive self-talk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks kind of sketch now, actually, for, for real. I thought we had this one in the bag. Um, but we got to play it where it lies. You know, it's not about where you came from. It's about where you're going. And I think we're in a, in a positive trajectory. I like, I like the spit shot on the, uh, on the, the Dini. 
Yeah, we had okay, so let me just let me just recap. We had the play if we Viridian away the fire. Because then we can attach two energy with the tar generator as opposed to just the one. So if we do that, we're in a good spot. Because we can get those two and then attach, and then we swing into the Dragapult. But this way, dude, they had a Marnie the whole time, bro. Alright. Uh, but this way, we get a little bit punished for that play. Um, they obviously don't take a one-shot, but the thing is they could start putting a bunch of damage on, like, the Roly-Coly and stuff. So I hate that. I hate I hate these things as well. This is so bad. This is so bad, dude. But, ah, uh, no, we can't even do that. Oh, no, we need an Opal here, man. Oh, yeah, they definitely can win. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we played ourselves out of such a good position. And they have a Mew. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's user error. The deck is not actually this bad, but that's user error. And you can see how one little mistake can compound um, in a big way. So we get the... F we get that... Uh, we go Viridian here, I guess. Now I'm nervous. Now we got fires in the D card already. Let's go Rolus Colus. Get out of fighting. We could do 160, or we, we, so we have to attack multiple times. So what do we want to attack with? We attack with the active. We put ourselves in a position where they can gust up the Dedene and knock out the Cramorant. So I think our best play uh, is to Tar Generator with the Sandal, the Sandal Conda. And then we'll have to attach this to like one of our V Pokemon. I think we attach to Cram. I suppose we don't have to do it now, right? Eh, we could. I how many scoop of nuts are they down? No, they they literally cannot take a knockout on cramp. So okay, we'll hold it. We'll see what they do. Let's go ahead and sand breath. Discard our fire. Discard our fighting. And we're. I, I hesitate to say we're in a good position, but I don't think we're in the worst position. The problem is that they can come bring up the Dragapult on the bench, and they have this Mew, which is, like, really a, a turd in our side. Uh, so we're gonna need... We, like, kind of want them to take a knockout, hilariously enough, so that we can play a quick ball. Ah, yes, there we go. So they're gonna put all the damage on the Crammy. Actually, this is good. We can technically still win as long as they don't have another boss in hand, uh, which is not guaranteed certainly not guaranteed let's go here um let's go here go there uh-huh do this and then oh jeez i don't know if we have we should have another rat in the deck, so I'm going to discard the opal. Yep, we do, in fact, have another rat. And then go great ball. Take another rat. And wow, I was thinking we would get a boss. I was really kind of hoping that we would get a boss or at least an opal to try to flip for a boss. Uh, but, but at this point, it's, it's really not looking like that's going to be the case. Wow. This little Mew, it's amazing what one little card can do. Um, let's thin the deck. I think the card that we need the least is probably the candy. Get rid of the candy. Let's thin our deck. How many boss? We got one left. So we got one of the prizes. We're going to take three prizes. We got a 40% chance or excuse me, a one in four chance that we don't hit the boss. And then if they have boss, they win, of course, because they just will knock out the, uh, the cram. The cram, my rant. But we'll see. Okay, no boss. 
No boss? No, please. <laughs> Thank you. No. 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 Oh, no. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. They need to have... Okay, so here's what they need. They need to have a second Zigzagoon. Yo, did we just pull this one back? Yo, Epic, come back. Epic, come back alert. <laughs> I think we just pulled this one back. I don't know how they win here. They got to put all the damage on the cram. Yeah, they just swing into our active. <gasps> we've done it, guys. We have done it. Oh, we've won the, the freaking Cape of Toughness, dude. You have a good deck as well, my friend. <laughs> Opal! Opal! Let's go take out the Dedene for the style points. Well played, they say. Well played to you as well. Ma, congratulations on a hard-fought game. And that's going to do it for us today. Sandaconda, Colossal, Opal. Proven that uh, might just be... More than a meme, this deck is completely built to work in the Sun and, or excuse me, Sword and Shield On format. So if you're playing in any tournaments like that, Sword and Shield On, uh, I guess besides the Mew, you pretty much have the entire deck. So that is down in the description below. Catch me on the next video, Lil Flexers. That's going to be all for me today. Remember, good luck and also have fun.